So we all believe and we all know that prevention, diagnosis and treatment. So research, I think all our renowned doctors and who have already spoken in this regard, how important research is, especially for the movement disorders. And when Professor Ray was mentioning, he said that the numbers will double by 2030. And I am also told there will be 1% amongst the population who will be suffering from movement disorders or the Parkinson's disease by 2040. Correct me if I am. So this is a very important concern that any elected government should really focus upon. And I am so happy and delighted that such state-of-the-art facilities and institutions, which are renowned institutions like NIMS and NIMANS from Bangalore, is also joined this great team of uh, King's College. I still remember when I travelled and I played that cricket match which was really a very meaningful occasion to raise money for the treatment of the needy patients. We had some cricketers who were still active cricketers who were playing. This will double by 2030. Global collaboration to work with Parkinson's. Uh, as you can see, all these are centers that we are connected with <clears throat> in the world. And perhaps the most strongest link that we now have got, perhaps it links back to my own um, origin as a boy from Kolkata, uh, is with, of course, Pride. Um, I'm at particularly proud at two to three years with the leadership of wonderful colleagues we have here. Um, and also with the support of some international centers and very pleased my longtime friend and colleague Professor Christian Palu Kipurari is here. He's also almost acting as a central pivot in this work and helping disseminate the message through many other centers in the world towards a global footprint using the network that we already have. So that was another point I wanted to make. The third point is Dubai. Uh, we have successfully exported the model to King's College in Dubai. So this is King, where I've just come from, King's College in Dubai. We've we'll set up a big part of the centre there with advanced therapies, uh, but also with uh, education. And that is already attracting patients and carers from all the surrounding countries, as far as, in fact, South Africa, Botswana, to come there to have management. And there is no reason why we couldn't try a similar model of care mixed with education uh, here through Prime. And I think our skill we've already achieved um, and I just wanted to show you that this is not just utopian thinking and lip service. Uh, is the King's Prime uh, registry. You can see this registry already. These are details are being collected so that in the long run, we have formal, robust data that all the licensing authorities will see and help approve this treatment in various other parts. So every needy patients across India are able to achieve this. At the KCL uh, King's Prime Virtual Symposium, 12 hours live streaming to make the attendees. Uh, and this brought together movement disorder specialists from all over. Of India is a cohort of movement disorder specialists who are working exclusively on various aspects of movement disorders to understand what type of diseases are common, why they are common, 
what type of genetic or what type of genetic issues are happening in these type of disorders and what type of treatments can be given how to improve in this perspective lot of studies have been going on i think this one slide which explains us what works we are going on and there it's the genetics of young onset parkinson disease more lot of us know parkinson disease however uh, this genetics of young onset parkinson disease is primarily related to parkinson disease who had onset before the 50 years of age this project uh, we are having about 800 plus patients uh, which is probably one of the biggest uh, uh, cohort across the globe and not only that with this project we are able to look into what type of genes which are affecting for parkinson disease in indian patients how they are different from the western populations and how the treatments are going to change so that is one one of the big projects what the prize is already in the advanced stages of uh, publications going on a unique type of cases even in parkinson's disease where the mean age of onset in western countries is about 58 years in our country it is about 50 years young onset parkinson's disease with definition whether it is less than 40 years of age of onset or 45 or 50 is much much higher prevalence in india probably lot of autosomal recessive disorders play a part then we have a other type of uh, movement disorders like ataxias there are some unique type of ataxias which occur in india and probably one of the earliest research in movement disorders which started was by uh, dr wadia dr nh wadia who is no more here <coughs> and uh, he uh, probably described the first cohort of patients of spinosomatic type 2 in the you know the title was that there was a slow cycle neuropathy and ataxia and later that time we did not have any you know uh, diagnostic facilities and he got those patients radically uh, identified as ca2 so later on another group of unique disorders are spinosomatic cells type 12 which probably has the largest uh, cohort in india and a uh, lot of patients are seen in different type of communities in india so what I'm going to say that over the last five to six decades, gradually a uh, lot of research have started in neurology as well as in movement disorders. Initially in the first uh, few decades, in the 50s or 60s, there were solvers were there, Dr. Enes Wadia, Dr. Aris Wadia is still there, and uh, then we had Dr. Barucha, all from the uh, Western country, Western India, and Dr. Uh, R.M. Verma was there in Nimhans, who probably designed the first chemothalamotomy for tremor. Then, uh, that time our research was limited to uh, whatever these solvers were publishing, as well as few research in the form of grants from Indian Council of Medical Research, dissertations, case reports, etc. Then there was a trend after some conferences where uh, uh, solvers like Dr. Donald Khan, Dr. Stanley Farr, all these people came to India. And then we realized that uh, our training in movement disorder is much less compared to the other countries and we need to go there and have fellowship trainings or observership, etc. So there a new population or new general, uh, you know, uh, new uh, group of people started to go either as fellows or as uh, observers <coughs> to UK, Canada and USA, there's a more, most of the important area, uh, places and we had a lot of people who were trained some came back here, some did not come back here, but we started growing our research in movement disorders. And thereby, solvers were like Dr. Madhuri Beri, who is in Delhi now, uh, Dr. Shamal Das, who is, there, who is almost here with us, Dr. Kalan Bhattacharya, Dr. Rupam, then these are the one of them, Dr. Mohit Bhatt in uh, Bombay. So, when I was a registrar at the Queen Square, it's, called, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, only one institute at the time where. Uh, I used to see all the uh, you know the fellows from India coming in and say that when you're doing your fellowship, there's a hello Queen Square. But there were fantastic centers. And also when I when I was a registrar and one day I used to hear that, you know, I'm honest, I'm very brutally honest here that Mumbai, Mumbai, Mumbai. So but as I said, when I found out that we have fantastic centers uh, in India, Nimans, names. Enjoy. Sorry, Pankaj. So, but uh, that's what. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, I think then I've explored since last two years, three years. I see that the Star Wars, that was a royal in Ames at the time, hitting the show. Now, it's, uh, it's India is on the map now. King's College London actually sent us a formal email to be a form uh, forwarding it to Hamil Hadminster. He actually virtually opened up our first symposium during the COVID time. 
rankings among the global platforms uh, that has selected Proy, Parkinson's Research Alliance India, is amalgamation of 10 prestigious centers led by all the stalwarts here. Um, so, so we got to official email, formal email, applauding. Hosa, hosa. Video click on the subscribe button and click on the bell button.